हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर अजय अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर काइट ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन टुडे आई वेलकम यू इन द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ माय मल्टीपल इंटीग्रेशन वीडियो इन विच वी विल कवर द चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन द मेजर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन इज इन डबल इंटीग्रल एंड ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल सेल्फ जस्ट टू रिड्यूज सम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ इंटीग्रल to solve in the easier way sometimes we need to use change of order of integration in order to simplify the question in easier way that is only the application of change of order of integration rest all the areas which cover which are covered by double and triple integral obviously change of integral is dealing with the same areas so now what is change of order of integration that we will deal to get today in this video in case of double integration when we have uh, the constant limits then we are not to worry about what should be the order and in which order we should integrate um, our integrand our function uh, within the limits just we will have to notice about that what exactly are the limits of x and what exactly are the limits of y here in box we can see a to b are the limits of x and c to d are the limits of y so uh, we can change as it is without any previous calculations the limit but having careful about being careful about that when we are going to integrate with respect to y the first then we will have to put the limit c to d the first and when this is never so uh, important thing that what order we are writing dx dy or dy dx but the limits what we are assigning over there that matters a lot so over here c and d are completely fixed with y when we are integrating with respect to y then we will have to put c to d limit and when we are integrating with respect to x then strictly we will have to put the limits from a to b but this is a simpler way but uh, uh, in case we are having the variable limits then we will have to Uh, decide and uh, pre-calculate the things to uh, change the order of integration. As we have covered in our previous videos, that we will when we are having the variable limits, then we have to integrate positively first with respect to that variable which is having the variable limits. Later on, we will we deal with the integration with uh, that variable who is having constant limits. so that thing we will have to see in this video how we will evaluate the integral changing the order let us take an example evaluate the following integral by changing the order of integration and the order of integration as we can see that there are the variable limits of y because the variable limits functional limits are there in terms of x that is we can denote it like fx and fx is used to be a function equals to y y is equals to fx so the limits are obviously in terms of x so these are assigned for y so according to the question we are supposed to integrate first with respect to y but in order to integrate 1 upon log y with respect to y is a complicated case on the other hand if we will be able to integrate it with respect to x the first that it will be much more easier because 1 upon log y in that case will be dealt as a constant so uh, now see how we will have to reduce this problem to change the order here we can notice all the curves through the limits all the curves the region bounded by the curve capital c is shown in the limits always so first trace all the limits given provided in the question in the question limits are provided like y is equals to e raised to the power x y is equals to e x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 plotting all these curves we will have the shaded region intersecting between all these curves bounded by these curves so this green area you can see that is the bounded area we are supposed to integrate in with within this region capital r bounded by e y is equals to e y is equals to e raised to the power x that is a curve x is equals to 0 that is a y axis y is equals to 0 a line parallel to x axis y is equals to e a line parallel to x axis and e value of e is always greater than 1 so that will be on the upper side 
so taking care of all these things we have plotted the curve i hope you understand this thing later on when we have this thing then we have to notice that um whatever the variable limits are there there must be a strip parallel to that axis like we are having the variable limits of y so previously it was a strip parallel to y axis from where we were taking lower limit on y is equals to e raised to the power x and upper limit on y is equals to e covering from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to 1 but in order to change the limit we need the variable limits of x and to find the variable limits of x we need to construct a strip parallel to x axis that is a very important point to remember you'll have to take care about whatever the variable you want to have the having the variable limits okay you will have to plot a line parallel to that axis only like i want the variable limits of x so i will have to construct a strip parallel to x axis so from here you can see x is equals to 0 to y is equals to e raised to the power what we can modify it to find the value of x in terms of y that will be x is equals to log y so from here we can see x is equals to 0 to x is equals to log y will be the limit so here we are whatever it is written over there that i have already elaborated you hence this uh, 0 to 1 and e raised to the power x to e dx dy upon log y can reduce to 0 to log y for x 0 to log y limits for x now again take care about what should be now the limits of y y is a starting from y is equals to 1 to y is equals to e so the limits for y will be 0 1 to e y is equals to 1 to y is equals to e hence now integrating uh, 1 upon log y with respect to x we will have x upon log y because log y is like a constant when we are integrating with respect to x putting the limits 0 to log y log y will be cancelled out log y upon log y minus 0 so we have reduced our complexity to integrate 1 upon log y type of function and we get over there 1 which is very simple to integrate and finally integrating 1 with respect to y we will get y over the limit 1 to e from here this will be e minus 1 so this is the major application of change of order of integration but this is not always very simple sometimes we can have some complexity over there uh, like a single strip if it's not covering the whole area within the region within the constant limits if single strip is not able to cover the area then we have to modify and break the limits in two different curves or multiple number of curves so here we are having such example change of order of integration in i is equals to 0 to 1 x square to 2 minus x x y dy dx and hence we will wait the same first you'll have to um, change the order of integration and then to find the solution also so you can have over here all the limits um, from the given question that is the limits are provided in terms of x so these are supposed to be the limits of y so y is equals to x square and y is equals to 2 minus x these are two functions two curves and rest of two curves will be there y is equals x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 so taking all four curves we are plotting this uh, picture i have shown over there you can see i hope this is visualized to you all of you you can see this picture here it is in this picture you can see there is a curve y is equals to x square which is um, symmetrical about y axis because having the even powers of x and next curve we are provided with y is equals to 2 minus x which is a line intersecting x axis and y axis x axis this is intersecting on x is equals to 2 x axis this line y is equals to 2 minus x is intersecting on y is equals to 0 so from here x will be equals to 2 
and on y axis this line is intersecting on point y is equals to 2 minus 0 because on y axis x is equals to 0 so putting x is equals to 0 y is equals to 2 is the intersection point so from here we can see y is equals to 2 minus x is intersecting both x and y axis at the distance of 2 from here we can see now the next line is uh, x is equals to 0 x is equals to 0 and x is equals to 1 then we will find the intersection point of x is equals to 1 and y is equals to x square putting x is equals to 1 y is also equals to 1 so both are having their intersection point at a is equals to 1 comma 1 so in this manner we are here with the curve bounded uh, region bounded by the curves provided in the question so now let me rewind the zoom yes okay now see um, we are here previously uh, with the limits of y in terms of x so there must be a line strip parallel to y axis that I have plotted over there okay so now we are supposed to change the limits change the order of integration so we need we need to have find the variable limits of x in terms of y in the limit area so that we can uh, uh, integrate with respect to x the first in order to that we will have to construct the strip parallel to x axis but the complexity over there is that that from starting from y is equals to 0 to y is equals to 1 y is equals to 0 to y is equals to 1 the curves the strip is floating the strip is floating between two curves you can see x is equals to 1 and from here x is equals to and the root y y is equals to x square can be written as x is equals to under root y so now mm -hmm. this strip is stuck at the point a is equals to 1 1 because from here the reason is changing the reason is no more x is equals to under root y now there has been started the role of line y is equals to 2 minus x okay so from here we need to construct reconstruct one more strip covering the area sandwiched between x is equals to 0 to x is equals to y plus 2 the line y plus 2 x uh, 2 minus x is equals to y can be written as x is equals to y plus 2 so now um, sorry 2 minus y so now we are constructing a line am perpendicular to oy okay to bypass the section which are changing their regions okay now in region o m a that is the lower part of this curve we will have uh, x varying from uh, 0 to x is equals to 0 to under root y in the first part okay and in the upper part that is uh, b m a the value of x is floating from 0 to uh, 2 minus y okay so from here what will be the constant limits y is varying in first part 0 to 1 intersection point i have already told you how we have decided that the intersection point is a is equals to 1 1 and when it is perpendicular on the line o y then it is obviously intersecting on the same point y is equals to 1 and now uh, we are having the limit 0 to 1 in the first section 0 to under root y curve is floating from 1 to 1, 0 to 1 and the other part that is the covering by the strip from 0 to 2 minus y is floating from 1 to 2 to the intersection point I told you earlier now adding uh, the region has been divided into two parts integrating now systematically as we do earlier like the first section the first region between 0 to under root y and 0 to 1 we have the curve we have the function x y to be integrated with respect to y and x 
first we will integrate with respect to x now because we are having the variable limits of x integrating with respect to x we will treat y as a constant and x will after integration it will give you x square upon 2 x square upon 2 between the limits 0 to under root y in the same manner uh, in the second region uh, which is in addition we will integrate with respect to x the first and we will have y as a constant and x will give you x square upon 2 again over the limit 0 to 2 minus y this time okay because the strip right now in this section is rotating from c uh, x is equal to 0 to 2 minus y now again integrating the both integrals the both regions with respect to y we will have the final answer after calculations that is very simple and that will be 3 upon 8 so now move on the next example evaluate the following integral by changing the order of integration that is a very interesting question in this all the limits are there and uh, as we can see x variable is there visible in the limit so um, that is obvious that uh, the limits of y are variables so here right now we are supposed to integrate it with respect to y the first which is very complicated being the function e raised to the power of minus y upon y so now first of all construct all the curves provided in the limits that is y is equals to x y is equals to infinity x is equals to 0 x is equals to infinity plotting all these points we are having the curve you can see I am enlarging the picture yes over here you can see there is a line x is equals to 0 there is a line x is equals to infinity now this is the line y is equals to x at the angle of 45 degree slope okay so y is equals to x is the line which is by default has written over there y is equals to 0 this is not y is equals to 0 this is y is equals to x y is equals to x line is there and uh, the upper limit is going up to infinity so you can see the previous limit was um, of y in terms of x so probably there must be a must have the strip parallel to y axis that is pq you can see whose lower lag is lying on y is equals to x that is why there was the lower limit y is equals to x and upper lag is going infinitely long so upper limit was infinity y is equals to infinity and uh, the region x is equals to 0 was going from 0 to infinity but right now we want to uh, change the order of integration in order the same we will have to construct a strip parallel to x axis in order to design the variable limits of x in terms of y so we constructed a line p dash q dash over there and this line is going from x is equals to 0 to x is equals to y y is equals to x or x is equals to y are the same thing so lower lag the lower values of the strip is lying on lowest value is lying on x is equals to 0 and the highest value of the strip is lying on q dash that is x is equals to y so you can see the limit has been converted into 0 to y okay and now y is moving from 0 to o o point from o point to the upper part so this is revolving from y is equals to 0 to y is equals to infinity now integrating with respect to x we can mm. easily treat e raised to the power minus y upon y as a constant so this is now getting very easy to us to deal this integration integration with respect to x it will give you simply e raised to the power minus y upon y will remain like the same and into me uh, in the multiplication there was one that will supposed to be x after integration with respect to x and over the limit 0 to y putting these limits y will be cancelled out now e raised to the power minus y is very easy to deal under integration with respect to y so we will have over here minus e raised to the power minus y over the limit 0 to infinity that will give you 1 so this was all i wanted to tell you in this video i hope this will be helpful for you stay connected stay happy thank you